Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to our mod review series. Today we're taking a look at a mod that is very useful from your beginning days in Ark all the way through endgame. It's one that we've used quite a bit here on the channel, and it's the Upgrade Station. Now, the Upgrade Station has quite a few uses. However, one of the main ones is, well, kind of in the name, it's upgrading your stuff. So, there's two different versions of it for you to build. You have a wood version, and you have a metal one. The main difference is the storage capacity for resources on each one. And each one consists of three parts. You have the main workbench, you have the blueprint upgrade station part, and you have the augment station. So let's go ahead and set these out, show you what it does. So the main part you do have to have is that. And then you have your add-ons that go with it. Now you can just put on the blueprint station if you want, or you can just add on the augment station if you want. You don't have to have both, but I mean, they're fairly cheap. You should go ahead and just put everything together. Plus, it looks fantastic, man. So that's the wooden one. And then this is the metal one. So again, you have three parts, and they all do three different things. The capacity on the metal one is 1,000, and then the capacity on the wooden one is only 500. And that kind of affects with whenever you're doing upgrades and stuff. Sometimes you need a ton of space for doing augments and whatnot, so it's definitely better to have that one but you can kind of customize it. You might have a primitive looking base, so you'd want the wooden one. So it's, it's nice, man, it's nice. It's good to have options. And then in the menu here, there's also a manual. It costs a whole one thatch. Hopefully that won't break the bank making it, but it'll kind of explain more to you as well. Kind of some of the stuff that we're going over today. So, as for this. In the main area here, you have your upgrades for your items, and then you can also salvage items. It's another feature of this mod. So it's kind of good because like grinders, like the little grinder and everything, it's kind of more like a mid-game type thing because of it being locked away and then the cost. This is super cheap to make and it does the exact same function. So, super nice on that. And then as for your upgrades, we'll take a look at that here in a minute. Top part here, you can take fully built items, click on it, and create a blueprint from them. Again, we'll take a look at that here today. Very nice feature, that is the main thing I used it for. You might find something that's already built, right? A very nice shotgun or a piece of armor. You don't want to risk losing it because you got it out of a drop. Bring it back here, throw it in, make a blueprint, and now you can craft them forever. Down here is the augments. You have everything from armor augments to weapon augments. It helps out durability, your different thermal ratings on your armor, and stuff like that. Damage on your weapons as well, or your picks. So it all has different uh, resource requirements, and they all do different things. There is a cap on how much you can actually upgrade something. Uh, one thing offhand I know of is the hazmat. Unlock that. Like these. I was trying to upgrade a full set of these. I think the durability, uh, the base durability is 85. I could not get above 399. So that's kind of where it capped off at. I think everything's a little bit different. So you have to do some experimenting with that. But you can't upgrade your 85 primitive all the way to 5,000 durability. It's just not possible, which is a good thing. There needs to be limits on stuff, you know? Keep things from getting out of hand. Let's make a couple picks to experiment with. Just make four, that should be plenty. And then let's grab a saddle. So, like I said, you can take stuff and make blueprints from it, right? So if you find one of the saddles or something in a drop, what you can do is make it into a blueprint. However, before you make it into a blueprint, go ahead and take it, throw some paint on it, whatever flavor of paint you want. Because whenever you're done, and you throw it in here to turn it into a blueprint, it's going to actually copy all of the colors as well. That's the main thing, that, like I said, that I use because I like doing all painted saddles for my boss fights and stuff. So instead of making all the paint to paint up 20 different saddles, you make one, then every time you make a blueprint, it doesn't increase the cost. You get some resources back, plus you've got a painted blueprint. So it's nice, man, it's nice. It's a, it's a very good addition, I kind of like that. And then as for down here, salvage items, same thing, you just click on it. Click salvage and it'll give you all your stuff right back here. It's it's nice, man. It is very, very nice beginning for salvaging stuff. Because there's a lot of loot drops, man. You should be doing a lot of loot drops to find stuff. And instead of just trashing it, bring it back. Help you out with gathering some resources. Use them from upgrades later. And then the next part of this is the upgrade station. So, click on your item. Attempt to upgrade. It's going to tell you up here what you need. 
So right now we just need some metal ingots, some wood, and some hide. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit of each. A little bit of hide. And a little bit of wood. So this does get more expensive with each item too. I mean, we are just using primitive picks. So it's going to be a little bit cheaper. So what you do is every time you go to upgrade this, you have a chance for this to jump from primitive. You can jump all the way up to Mastercraft or Ascendant on one click. You also have the option for it to stack with a reduction in cost. So you might get 25% less cost. And then on that just one click, you get all the way up to Mastercraft, right? Which saves you a ton because whenever you go to click on this, it's going to use a ton of resources just for upgrading, you know? And like there, we went from the regular up to 197 on that. Attempted again. We're at 217. See up there? We discovered an efficient upgrade, so all of our requirements are reduced by 25%. So that's going to be super cheap versus another blueprint that would be at the same rating. It, so it's, it's, it's less cost, you know, whenever you make this into a blueprint. So we're at 410. And there we go. We maxed it out at 464.5. So it's not too bad. 250 on the durability. However, there's always more. Let's get rid of some of this stuff just so we can see. So you can come over here after you're done upgrading like that, and you can still put more upgrades on it. <laughs> no, like I said, it can get very broken very fast. You got to kind of limit yourself, which is the downside of this mod. It kind of makes it to where you don't need to go out and find drops and stuff. You can make everything here at home, which is a good thing for things like magma source saddles where you don't find very often or chainsaws and loot drops or even like thyla saddles, right? But at the same time, it makes it to where you don't really go out to look for them. So let's go ahead and take weapon durability. Let's make, uh, let's just make three of those. And then let's find the one for damage. We'll make three of those. So our durability right now is 250. Let's uh, take these out. I think it kind of messes it up whenever you have two different augments in there at once. So we're up to 272. We're up to 297. And so with just three augments, we've gone up to 322 from 250. And then you can also do the same thing, like I said, with the damage. So we're at 464.5. We're at 490. That jumped up quite a bit. 507. And 532. So it's 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 fantastic, man. So here's one of the other parts that's kind of broken with this mod. Is, say we have this, right? We've got it made. We want to keep it. We spent a lot of resources on it. Trying to get it upgraded. And you can see our durability is not even full, right? So just imagine that we've used this all the way down to where it's almost broken. If we take this, of course, paint it first if you want to. You can come over here to the blueprint station. And even though the durability is only 250 of 322, it makes a blueprint for a full durability one. And then you still get resources back. So that's one of the things I don't like. It's kind of broken. So one of the other ways to make blueprints is you can, if you use S+, plus, is you can use one of the blueprint makers like this. And you can edit your INI file to where you can actually use this to make, instead of just structures, you can actually make normal blueprints. But if I would have taken that pick and put it in here, and it was at 250 of, what was it, 322? And I made it into a blueprint, that would only be locked in of making new weapons at the 250 of 322. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's kind of broken how it gives you resources back, plus you get a full durability blueprint in return. But I mean, it's still good. It's still good regardless. But this is the main reason why I stopped using it was because it's just so easy to make everything you want with all of the upgrade parts, right? You can kind of customize it. Again, like I said, though, it's kind of good for the blueprints that are very, very rare and hard to find. So this does also work on tech. So if you got your tech parts, say you want to upgrade your tech armor a little bit, throw it into there. You can do the same thing. However, the tech rifle and the rocket launcher do not work. You can't upgrade those. Let's go ahead and make one real quick. I never use rocket launchers. That's why I don't have one on, on hand. But there's another mod that you can install. That's why I'm not talking about it today. I'm not sure what it is. There is another mod that you can stack with this one to be able to upgrade it. There's just no upgraded version of these. So it doesn't even give you the option where it'll tell you what it needs. It does the same thing with the tech rifle. So, 
there, there's ways around it, but it's not really made to be upgraded anyway, so it's not really built into the code. So there's some other workarounds you have to do for it. But other than that, man, it is a fantastic mod. You've got two different versions, depending on, like I said, how your base is, how you want it to look. You've got the built-in grinder, and then that main feature of, well, one, taking items and turning them into blueprints, but being able to paint, like, saddles beforehand, or even your armor. Paint them beforehand, man. Paint it once, get it customized how you want, and then every time you make it, say you get wiped on a boss fight, you don't have to think about how your stuff was painted, do you have paints to make new armor, you can just go ahead and throw your blueprint in, craft it, it'll come out just like you had it. So overall, man, I'd say it's a very, very good mod, and I'm very, very happy with it, and I think it did a fantastic job on it. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you like the upgrade station, man, like I said, it's a fantastic addition to any base. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.